Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Cancer, this is your next 24 hour star reading session for you, Cancer. I hope you are well. I hope you are fine and safe and doing good, Cancer. This reading for today, Cancer, this is your next 24 hours reading. Let us see what is happening towards you guys. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is your next 24 hours reading. Oops. We will pick up love, career, finance, and general situationship. I'm doing this for you, Cancer. Thank you so much for coming here. We are now out of the retrograde. You know, Mercury is no longer retrograde. Pluto is no longer retrograde or is about to go direct. And so is Saturn. So I feel like um, there is a very good start. You know, a start, a spin-off as well. Or some opportunities last month that might reappear or you might continue and it's more clear. Okay? So I'm feeling a very good vibe with October month. It's just a slow but steady start with October. Okay, let's start your reading. Well, we will pick up love, career, finance, and general situation for you. Let's see what is a guidance message for cancer. What can I get for cancer, please? It is the guided intuitive message for you. You could be dealing with someone younger. Could be a son, a daughter, someone younger. Like rebellious, teenager rebellious thing. Yeah, king of wands. Okay. So the center of the reading is the king of wands. I feel like in the next 24 hours plus 2 to 3 days, there is a strong emphasis for you, Cancer, to take lead to take charge, take lead, most specifically if it's connected to family. There's something about family or friends or something about work that you need to protect. You need to take lead. You need to take charge. That Do not let them take this away from you. Okay? It's something that you need to protect. It's very strong. Like a strong, be a king of wands. Protect something. Be protective. Okay? So that is that. Let's pick up more intuitive message for you. You've got the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You've got a King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You've got the Sun card in here. Um, I feel like there's a person. Okay, if it's not a person, it could be an in a bank, maybe a bank. It's connected to money. Okay, the first reading it's connected to money. It's connected. It's, it's, it's connected to money. It's connected to a person who's been quiet. Okay, for example, your bank has not follow up with you. Or, I don't know, but there is an external person situation. They've been quiet. And, um, yeah, they've been quiet. Um, now this person is going to reach out with you and somehow they're going to blame you, Cancer. There is a vibe in here that someone who has been quiet, a company, maybe a customer, they've been quiet and now they're reaching out to you and Knight of Swords, they're making some noise and it seems to be this person is quite demanding or they will rush you to submit, to reply, to respond. Like this whole scenario I'm picking up, it's to their advantage, okay? Yeah, the Emperor card. You know, someone is like, Hey, Cancer, sorry, I have not been in touch with you. Can you submit this? Do this, do that. And you're somehow... Like, you, f you felt like it's not fair. They just... They, they're back with lots of work and very demanding. And they want everything about them. It could also be a lover. But someone is back. Someone wants something from you. And it's not a healthy request. Like they want something for you and it's not healthy. Like it's it's very demanding. Um, you've got the Taurus card in here. You could still commit to submit, to reply, to give 
and process whatever they want but they have to wait because i feel like this is this is one of the things that you need to highlight with this person is that they came at a point where you're busy or you need more time to give what they want you know you gotta push back like what i said you've got a king of wands in here you need to take charge okay let's put it here now in the next 24 hours possibly mid of this week you've got a king of swords the knight of pentacles the two of swords there is a person in your life and you're wondering why this person they're not very helpful or they're not sharing their feelings they're not so interactive they don't share their feelings they don't give an input they're just sitting around and somehow watching you to fail and when you're about to fail they come in to the rescue so you've got this person who you keep doing it could be a boss you might for example it could be a boss you're doing this you're doing this you're doing this and if you're about to make a big mistake they come into the rescue and they tell you off like knight of pentacles you should have that you should have not done this and this and that and this and that and you're like two of swords i'm confused you can see me what i'm doing i'm updating you and yet you don't warn me and yet you're here sounding like you want to save the, the day it could also be like a friend or a lover who they've been incognito or been silent or they've been cold and we're not showing care and for some reason when you're about to do something you know they come around and they tell you no that's not the right thing to do or no don't move on no don't date be with me so it's like a last minute gesture yeah eight of swords you are confused because you need this person from i'm kind of getting like you're somehow confused because you need them from like I'm, you you're like eight of swords why do you always come around at the later part they should have joined you in the very beginning you know if they've been it's it's a reading where if they've been interactive if they've been responsive if they've been talk active if they've been replying to my texts then it sh this thing should it, it should not happen like so something that if they've been engaged with you you would have prevented this to happen and now there's a bit of rework in here eight of swords yeah like you have five of swords queen of pentacles like you you're having you're having some sort of you're having some sort of annoyance or it's it's just a struggle to deal with you because they always come back to you you know at the later part instead of the beginning part and then you've got to adjust because you've got to give way of them or get their suggestion or include them or in fact if they were very engaged in the past this this would have not happened and queen of pentacles it's a waste of time you know it's it's feeling like i'm wasting my time because i'm going to redo it again because of this person being a mute like someone is not like someone is quiet and silent and then when you're about to leave then they tell you stay and you're like i've already packed my bag so there's something of this person in your life let's see you know what this person confuse you the situation delays you you gotta get rid of it you know there is someone who you want to be with you want to engage with them but they're not a hundred percent so do not let them delay you do not let them distract you do not let them confuse you this is if you count this is not the first time they've done it and this is not the last time they're gonna do it if you want to send this person a strong message that is to push back and say no made up my mind no i cannot include you if you want to be engaged you should have been part of this in the very beginning but no too late you've got to say no cancer then the last reading is you've got the six of pentacles Ooh, ouch five of swords okay this is more of a in october okay in october month cancer i really want you to pay attention to expenses 
money, financial, in and out, because you might get, your finances might get hurt. For example, not only that, but asset renewal of something, I'm getting like you forgot to renew this and you've got a penalty. You forgot to do this and you've got a penalty. Or you thought it was on sale, you buy it and it's not. So look into October month on how you spend those transactions, those sales. Read the fine prints and look into insurance, that like things that would expire because you might get penalized or you might need it and it's and you might need it that insurance and it, it is expired so i want you to look into those documents to those paperwork to those transaction fine prints money in and out because you might get a pinch a hurt like you might get hurt your finances it would be hit or it would get hurt by that something that you might slip might slip on like it's a you might forget about, you might forget to do this, like a double check, you know, so look into that, okay, so this is your reading, this is your energy reading, thank you, Cancer, for being here, I will see you soon again, guys, you have a great day, bye-bye.